So what is the best lighting for someone with retinitis pigmentosa? Stay tuned, I'm going to discuss it coming up. Hey, welcome back to the channel, Blind to Billionaire. It's great to have you here. Thanks for joining me once again. I really appreciate your support. So what is the best lighting for someone with retinitis pigmentosa? That's really always a really difficult question for me. I have a lot of people who I meet for the first time or people that I know and one of the questions that people always ask is, well, what is the best lighting or what can you see with, with retinitis pigmentosa? And I always give a really vague answer. I never really have a straightforward answer because there are so many factors that go into what I can see. One of them being the lighting. Lighting is key. Um, it's really crucial, I guess. So by lighting, I mean the lighting conditions have to be ideal for me to be able to see much of anything. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I've mentioned that I have light perception. So like right now, as I hold the camera out in front of me, I'm using a selfie stick, but then I'm also using my left hand to hold the camera and uh, keep it you know, centered or whatever, because what I found is that when I use this selfie stick, I end up, um, well, eventually over time as I talk, the camera kind of tilts to one side and then I eventually am no longer in the picture. So I'm just using my left hand to kind of stabilize the camera and hold it hopefully on me the whole time. So um, I guess what I was getting at with that is I don't see the camera. I, I'm standing outside right now as you can see and I actually can't see the camera but when I look up at the sky I can see that yes, it's bright outside um, but that's about all I can see. There's actually a house you know, I'm standing just on the sidewalk outside of a house and I can see, you know, it's like a general really vague outline of the house. And the only difference, and the only reason I can see that is because the house is somewhat dark against the bright sky. So in this situation, what is the best lighting for me or anybody with RP? I guess I'd really like to hear from you too if you have RP or just in general, just what is the best lighting? But we'll get back to that here in just a minute. So I would say the best lighting for me, although I have very limited night vision, I would have to say that maybe dark is maybe the best lighting for me. And the reason for that is because, I've discussed this in other videos, but the light, the reason for that is, um, hang on a second. All right, sorry about that loud vehicle driving by. So the reason that I would say dark is the best lighting for me because, uh, in the dark, it creates a high contrast situation. So for example, in the dark, everything's blacked out except for lights. So like when I'm at home, the only lights that I typically have on in the dark or at night, I just have little night lights all over the house. So for example, in the kitchen, I have two night lights. Um, in the dinette, I have another, I have another night light. In, um, you know, in the hallway upstairs, I have a night light. I have, in the bathroom upstairs, I have a couple more night lights, and then in the second bedroom, I have a night light. And the reason I use these night lights all over the place is because they, they're little markers. I use them as little markers. So the whole house is essentially blacked out with the exception of these little lights about 18 inches, maybe like a half of a meter off of the floor. And as I'm navigating through the house, I can see these little night lights, little markers as I call them, and I know exactly where I am because, you know, based on, um, uh, so like, let's say I walk out of the kitchen and I see the, the little marker on the wall, which is the night light, I know that, okay, I'm, I'm approaching the dinette. So for example, those are some of the reasons why I think that uh, darkness is actually the best for me, although, I don't have any, essentially any night vision, um, but it creates like a high contrast situation for me. So for example, like I said, I'm standing outside right now. And it's an overcast day. It's actually, you know, relatively dark for uh, just to, to be outside, but because it's overcast. Um, but I would say this lighting is much better for me than a bright sunny day bright sunny days are really hard for me. So I walk outside even with sunglasses and I'm, I'm squinting the whole time because the brightness just hurts my eyes, even though I can't really see anything. So there's almost no point in even having my eyes open when it's sunny. Um, so in the evening, again, in the evening when the sun is getting low and the day is getting darker, that's maybe even a better time because 
it gets to the point where it's getting dark out enough that I don't need sunglasses but it's also light enough that I can maybe see a little bit of contrast between light and dark and um, just a little bit of difference I can make out shapes so so those I, I guess are some examples of some lighting situations that I find are maybe the easiest for me so I'd really like to hear from you what is the best lighting for you if you have RP or if you have a, another um, condition causing low vision or even if you're perfectly sighted I would really like to hear from you what are the best lighting conditions for you um, even if you're a person who has perfect vision I feel like there's always situations that you can see better or you can see worse uh, so anyway I'd really like to hear from you what are the best lighting conditions for you what is your ideal situation um, for lighting so anyway, leave your comments down below. If you have any questions as well, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. And I always appreciate and uh, just, just really appreciate your support on my channel and following me. Uh, it just really means a lot to me. So thanks again for following me and the channel. It means a lot. And I will see you again on a future video. Thanks again for watching. See you soon.